cockpit is violently wrenched as Atlantis' three liquid engines explode to life. The instruments blur with the vibrations. The commander reaches forward and seizes the instrument panel glare shield, trying to steady himself. Then the solid rocket boosters ignite. We're slapped into our seats with the force of nearly two gravities. From liftoff, zero altitude, zero speed, to being in an orbit around 200 miles above the Earth at a speed approaching five miles per second. That entire process takes just 10 minutes. If you have long hair, ladies, you're gonna have a bad hair day up in space. No doubt about that. Basically, our toilet is a vacuum cleaner. Do not attempt this at home, folks. We do take a medicine that can be injected in people up there to make them stop vomiting. It's called Finagrin. Unfortunately, it's one of these pharmaceuticals that has a warning label on the bottle. Do not operate heavy machinery under the influence of this drug. <laughs> I was growing up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, lots of deserts, started building and testing homemade rockets from the nearby deserts, and setting as a goal uh, of someday being an astronaut, of riding a rocket into space. This is the first mark of truly courageous self-leaders. We dream big. We set lofty goals for ourselves. We challenge ourselves in the extreme. There's a huge population out there, people who are here in their professional and personal lives, and now they challenge themselves. What do they do? They take these tiny little baby steps, why? Because they're safe. They know they can make this goal. We never do that. Courageous self-leaders know they can get here. What we don't know is can we get out here in our personal and professional lives. But we're going to try. Too many times in life we learn something. And, you know, if you learn something and you don't share it with somebody, then it does no good to learn it. We're definitely seeing uh, a rise in overdoses from opiates, so specifically from prescription pills and from heroin abuse. 